Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 35. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing the Rain Masters Championship. And uh, the restrictions are you have to take a rear-wheel drive vehicle, which is a little bit tricky. Um, because the only vehicle we have that's close enough to the performance points is this one, our Corvette. Which also has 800 horsepower. So I have a feeling we're going to be struggling a little bit. Um, so first off, we're going on to Spa, then we're moving on to Circuit de la Sarthe, and then the Nürburgring for the final lap. Um, so the typical cars are Lexus LFA, Corvette Z06, so ours is sort of within that range, but we've also boosted it with an extra, like, 300 brake horsepower. Hopefully, it's going to be a little bit easier to record than yesterday, because it's a little bit cooler. Um, I haven't had to have my fan on for too long. Um, it is still warm, but it's not as bad as yesterday. And we have two Huayras, Enzo Ferrari, Zonda C12S, and a Rocket. Interesting. And the surface water is 100%. Right, here we go. Wet weather. Where are all the other cars gone? They are miles behind. Okay, so we're having a... L Obviously, we've got our traction control lowered. So it's not as strong as it normally is. Um, for this track as well, I've extended the gear ratio. Uh, no, I've uh, shrunk the gear ratio down. So we won't be able to hit as much of the top speed. Um, but we should be able to take corners in a higher gear. Oh, crap. I thought GT came out of nowhere for me. Perfect. And the PlayStation is overheated. Lovely. It's going to be like that all day. Come on, come on, come on. To be fair, it is like rendering so much shit on the screen with this uh, wet weather. So, I'm not surprised. Don't worry. Once uh, the GT6 playthrough is done, the PlayStation can have a couple of weeks break. Because I'll be jumping onto the 360 for a bit for a different series. Which is probably already out by now. Here we go. Come on, come on. Round this corner. Whoa. Okay. There we go. Nice. Oh, we've gone wide there. It is definitely a lot more difficult to drive in the rain in this game. Is that an SLR McLaren? It is as well. Oh my gosh. That is a very cool car. Right, I'm sticking it in second. That way I've got a little less um, chance of wheel spin. Do you know, I feel like we should probably put a performance limiter on this. Uh, that's a good shout. Where's second and first? Is 
Second and first have just completely disappeared. There they are. Can we catch up? Keep it in third, keep it in third. Going a little bit slidey around these corners here. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Right, and slow down here again. Third gear, I think, is... Third, I think, is a safe gear for this weather. I was in second. I thought I was in third. Oof. Right, we have one and a half laps to catch up with the cars up ahead. Perfect. Whoa! Try and keep it steady, keep it steady. The fact is we are actually aquaplaning uh, because the tires aren't heating up at all when we're sliding. Which... Oh... Very good there. Managed to keep it saved rather than spinning it out. Is there two Hawaiis now? We got twenty thirteen one. And the uh, 2011 one as well. Here we go. Perfect. It is kind of surprising that they got Hawaiiers in this. Um, obviously, our car is sort of on par with the Hawaiira performance. Right about, wow, we got maybe 100 more horsepower than them. But we also weren't designed to have a hundred more horsepower than a Hawaii so... Right, it's where the braking zone is. Very nice. Very nice there. Oh! Perfect. Let's just hope the uh, PlayStation didn't overheat too much today. Because I really don't want it to blow up on me. Not midway through a series where we're nearly at the end of it. I have a feeling this series is going to take up at least 50 videos though. Um, but I really am aiming for that 100% playthrough because I feel like I can do it for this game. Obviously so far we've got every single star that we've done. All the ones that we didn't get full stars that I've gone back off camera and done. Um... Loads of power going to those rear wheels there. Oh, and the Hawaii probably has fatter tyres as well, so that might be why it's got more grip than us. Right, here we go. Into second gear. Round the corner. Very nice. Round this corner. Perfect. And there we go, across the line. 2 minutes 38 for a final time. That's very good, bearing in mind that was soaking wet weather. That was 100% uh, surface water. 
which is a lot. A lot of water. And there we go, 43,000 credits. Very nice. Right, let's go on to the next race now, which is going to be around the Circuit de la Sarthe. Um, the Circuit de la Sarthe is actually quite a nice track. It's um, pretty fast. Pretty fast, quite nice. Um, this is the track with the chicanes as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out. And what cars have we got? So we got an FXX, we got the VWW12, uh, we got an Aston Martin 177, SLR McLaren again, uh, two Vipers for GT Concept, another Viper. Interesting. Right, let's do this. Circuit de la Uh I apologize if you can hear the fan in the background. It got a little bit too hot for me and I need to turn the fan on. Um, and also the PlayStation probably needs a little bit of extra air as well. Because we're not even like 20 minutes into a recording session and it's overheating. So, yeah, not great. Ooh, here we go. Perfect. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice. I don't really drive around the uh, south that much. So. And it's also raining, so all of my experience isn't really with this track that much. Probably could have extended my gears a little bit more now. Because as you can see, we've sort of maxed it out. Perfect. These gears will definitely need to be uh, extended back out, back to how they were before. Um, once we finish this race. Oh, there's the SLR. Squeezing past the SLR there. Right, the Ferrari FXX has gotten a massive head start. We're going to somehow have to catch up with them. And there goes Aston Martin. Ah, oh, and the little wing on the Aston Martin just popping back down. And then coming back up. That's so cool. I love the Aston Martin 177. I feel like the wing, they could have made it a little bit better. A little bit wider. Because it looks a little bit pointless. But I still think it's pretty cool. I am very sorry. I just crashed into your very expensive car. Aston Martin 177s nowadays are worth like millions. There we go, nice. Why is the Zonda driver so slow? Come on, come on, come on. Don't lose it now. We cannot lose it now, actually. Because if we lose it, we're buggered.
Holy shit! Uh, oh, it is difficult. I can't even make excuses. This is just difficult to drive in the wet. If it was a four wheel drive car, it'd be fine. But it's not. So it's not fine. What on earth is that car? It looks like a Ridge Racer Lamborghini. What is it? The Asoluto. I remember Ridge Racer. That is genuinely like one of the... Oh! Ridge Racer is one of the coolest games out there. Without a shadow of doubt. Come on, come on. Whoa! Right, we just have the FXX now to catch up with. We're not going to catch up on the straights because the FXX, I think, has a longer gear ratio than us. Which means he'll be able to get the higher speed on this straight. But hopefully we can catch him up in the corners. And in the braking zones especially, we can catch up. Because, surprisingly, though this car looks like it weighs a ton, it can slow down. It can also nearly get overtaken by other cars as well. No, I'm not having you overtake me. Oh, I realise what that car is now. It's not the Ridge Racer Lamborghini, it's that W12 horrible car now. Perfect. We are catching up, but I don't think we're catching up quick enough. I feel like we're going to be taking a second place here, guys. Oh. We have caught up, though. We've gained nearly three seconds just in that short section. No way, no way have we caught up with the FXX. No way have we had just overtaken him. That is crazy. Okay, they're trying to overtake now on the side. Right, what we need to do is be very lenient on the brakes and the throttle. It doesn't matter if he catches up, we can defend the position, but what we cannot do is if we lose the position, is regain it. So we're going to try and be very cautious. Nice. Whoa! That was too close for comfort. And there we go, guys. First place. Four minutes and 15 seconds on that last lap. It was a very good time. Two second gap. That was it. Just two second gap. The PlayStation is pumping out a lot of hot air right now. But 
I don't care because I'm taking a 45,000 paycheck. There we go. Right, let's exit. And move over to the next track, which is going to be the 24 hours of Nürburgring track. I'm pretty sure it's a 24 hour track. It might be the W track. Uh, no, it is the 24 hour track. That is awesome. This is the good track. Uh, so this will take roughly eight minutes to do um, because obviously it's got the GP circuit as well. Um, but the Nürburgring is a stunning track and I'm looking forward to playing it. Right, we got the Hawaiis, we got a McLaren F1, an SLR McLaren, an Enzo, Zonda C12, Scuderia's, Ford GT, Italia's, and an SLR. Right, let's do this. At the Nürburgring, very dark. So dark if we had another black screen. It is very, very difficult to control this right now. Sorry, Ferrari. Right, I think this is a Lamborghini Diablo. I know that is definitely the McLaren SLS. And whatever this Alfa Romeo is. Some Alfa Romeo concept that looks absolutely disgusting. I'm honestly so glad that that concept... Oh! I'm so glad that that concept car didn't become a thing. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's not the super tight corner for this one. Go, go, go. Perfect. Oh my gosh, the Nürburgring is deadly. I feel like I'm not going to be going very fast around this track. I'm going to try my best, but I feel like I'm going to have to lift up for most of these corners just to make sure I actually make it. Like there, I could have nearly died. Probably did die. Perfect. Right, breaking line is way earlier than you would typically expect. Just aiming to slowly overtake these cars. Perfect. Oh, slow down here. Keep it slow, keep it steady. Right, 
Right, I think that's the McLaren F1 in front of us. It looks very McLaren F1 like. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Or maybe it actually is a McLaren F1. Who knows? Right, come on, come on. Holy shit. This car has way too much horsepower. I think I should have brought it down a little bit. Crap, look at that. Come on, catch up with the Hawaiiras. We've got one of the Hawaiiras. We've just got one more left. Perfect. Look how beautiful this game is, though. And it's only going to get better with GT7. I have a feeling I'm not even going to finish this game before GT7 comes out. Like, I'm obviously going to finish playing through it. But whether the final video is going to come out before GT7 comes out, I don't know. Because I have a feeling GT7 is being launched end of this year on the PS5. So, looking forward to that. Nice. We are coming up to the carousel, and this is going to be the first time we've taken the carousel in wet weather. Crap. There we go. Perfect. Holy shit. No, 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 no. Right. Get back on. Get back on track. Come on, come on, come on. Don't ruin this for me today. Right, we still have three second gap. That's all right. Oh, my heart was racing as soon as we lost control there. This is a tricky section here. To be fair, that section there is very tricky when it's in the dry. Let alone when it's also soaking wet. Awesome. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa. Where is the uh, second carousel, the mini carousel? Actually, I think it's coming up. I think it's not too far away. Yeah, it's coming up. Here we go. Second to last corner before the mini carousel. Wait, no, that was the last corner before them. Ah, oh, well. Here's the mini carousel. That's all that matters. Very nice. Okay, nice, nice. Let's see the main track now. 
Perfect. We are going. I can't see any cars behind us, so that's all right. Oh, that might be why I can't see them then. They're 17 seconds behind. Crap. That was lucky. Perfect. And across the line. Nine minutes and 52 seconds for one lap. Jesus. That took forever. But that was really good. Really good lap. Let's see the money come rolling in. If the replay plays. Here we go. Let's see the money. Let me see the money. 46,000. Awesome. And three stars. Nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.